right. I'm here with Stuart Sim. Sim from Phoenix, Arizona. He's with a company called Lofty. Tell us a little bit about Lofty, Stuart. So Lofty recently rebranded from Chime. Uh, okay. So Chime Technology has been around since 2015, and we decided it was time for a rebrand based on what we have done over the last couple of years from a product perspective. Okay. Uh, so we're delivering much more than what Chime was designed for originally, which was a CRM for real estate agents. Okay. Uh, to now really truly become a full platform. Okay. Um, everything from IDX website all the way through social media marketing, transaction management, and pretty much anything a real estate broker, agent, or team lead would need to run their business. Okay. Well, a couple of questions. So, what do you mean by translation management? Transact transaction management. Transaction okay. Management. Transaction. Okay. Yeah. That was a Freudian slip, I guess, on my part. I misunderstood no, you. No, that's all right. So what's funny about that is we're here at the NAR conference in Anaheim two years ago in San Diego. Right next to us was Chime. So that's kind of funny that we have you guys as neighbors again. Yeah, and we've gone from small booths to, you the know, big ones. pretty yeah. big ones. And you're yeah. here. So how long have you been with, with Lofty or with I've Chime? I've been with them just over two years. Okay. Uh, so they brought me in to really grow the brand. Congratulations. Larger opportunities, working with franchises that kind of thing to deliver the solution to their members or their user base. Okay. And where's, where's Lofty based out of? Are you guys based out of Phoenix? Or yeah, where? so we're 100% based out of Phoenix. I'm, I'm actually one of three employees that's not based in, in Phoenix. You can tell okay. by my accent, and I'm actually Canadian. Okay. And I live in British Columbia, but. Okay. Well, that's good. I mean, I don't think they have anything against uh, Canadians down there in Phoenix, do they? No, not at all. They love there's us. A bunch of, love there's us. a bunch of uh, sure. Canadians that go down there. Um, we've been kind of talking with folks about innovation and what they're seeing in innovations and changes in the real estate market. So these may be things specifically that you guys are working on or things that you're seeing generally across the broader market. What are, what are some of the things that you've seen maybe in the last year or so that have been, that you think have been really impactful? Yeah. So there's a couple of things that are kind of call it the word of the day. So AI is sure, you know, at every conference, at every level, you see people talking about AI and most recently, ChatGPT, okay. right? So those are things that are influencing people today in in real estate. And to the point where we had a meeting earlier today where someone said, I use ChatGPT for my search as opposed to Google. Yeah. So we're going down kind of a new path where automation and artificial intelligence is taking hold of the industry. And it's a good thing uh, because as an industry, we don't do everything perfectly. Okay. There's a lot of holes and gaps, and I think that technology and innovation can fill those gaps. So as a company, we look at that very seriously. One of the reasons we did the rebrand was because we believe the AI that we've built is really strong and can really deliver on promises that people are expecting. And we're taking that to market big, and that's where we're going to focus over the next 12 to 18 months, along with kind of our traditional product roadmap. So there's exciting times. Uh, technology, traditionally as an industry, we haven't embraced it. Uh, we really should embrace technology. You know, you get user adoption at 20% where you should really be getting 60, 65, 70% people using some of the functionality that's out there. And it's not just Chime it's or Lofty. It's other people that are out there as well that um, are delivering some really strong product. That's awesome. Yeah, I noticed on your booth here, it says the AI powered solution, right? For real estate professionals. Absolutely. 100%. When you think about if you've been in the industry for 10 years, you've probably built up a database of 10,000 people. And as a real estate agent, you're probably only going to get to two to 300 of those every year. So who manages the rest? Right. So the other 9,700 people that you haven't reached out to, let the system do it for you, right? Okay. Provide the right content deliver messages through social media or text messaging or however you want to do it, uh, it's available uh, and it's out there today. So it's, it's, it's pretty cool. Well, it's interesting that you say that. That reminds me of a, a, a guy I spoke to on the phone probably five or six years ago. He was using another brand uh, service. He said he got so many leads that it almost put him out of business because they couldn't ramp up the agents and the, yeah, the staff the and all the management. In, yeah. So tell us about what, how does that work with a, if with a lofty type solution that you guys yeah, have? So we're not a lead generator. Sure. Mm -hmm. We do generate leads because you've got a website through us or you're doing promotions and you're expanding your brand personally as a real estate professional. 
Uh, but what we really pride ourselves in is the long-term conversion uh, okay. and long-term relationships. So right now the industry is looking at this. Some people are looking at it. We are looking at it very different. We look at everything right now from search to settlement. Okay. Right? So whenever you go on Zillow or Realtor.com or Homes, whichever search platform you're using, through that, through the full transaction. So... Uh, it's really going to become important. And what at what point as a technology company, if you're gathering all these leads, do you actually get the real estate agent, the real estate professional engaged with the customer? Is it right off the bat or is it two steps in? Right. So we're figuring that out right now. Okay. Okay. That's awesome. Um, let's, let's see. So without sharing your secret sauce, tell us something that you, th you see coming out in the next year or so that you think is a game changer in our, in our industry. So for us, when you think about a tra tra traditional brokerage, how many different platforms they're using, they're using somewhere between 12 and 15 different software solutions. So what we're trying to do is deliver the full package. Okay. So in our latest, um, I mean, release, search to settlement, that's pretty complete. I mean, it's, we think it's that pretty we, complete. Yeah. I mean, we know a lot of folks that are trying to do the complete thing. That's, yeah. that's your guys are stretching it on both sides of that. A yeah. Little bit. So we did our showing solution just released last week. Okay. Uh, our group chat capability just released last week, okay. which means you can start building your referral network within the app uh, within the product. So you're really taking everything from 15 different products down to one. And if you do it well, it should be a solution for a lot of realtors. That's awesome. Yeah, that's that's one of the things we hear a lot is, you know, folks have, you know, whatever it is, Gmail and then a WordPress website and then, you know, whatever all that, like you say, there's 14 different services and, it's not even about the money as much as all the logins and the passwords and all that kind without, of stuff, Without right? question. Yeah, 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 without question. And going from one to the other is just, you know, they're different technologies. They speak to each other differently. It's it's a whole kind of different ballgame when you when you go down that path. And you if you have a vision uh, of what your business should look like as a real estate professional, um, you know, you have to think about all these different things that happen from that search to settlement, right? What happens in between notaries, lawyers, you know, two or three different agents. It's a complex. Oh, it's a lot of moving and parts. And it's 90% of the time, it's the largest purchase anybody's going to make in their life, right? They're buying their home. Uh, and it's a real um, personal thing, right? Sure. When you buy your home, I've done it a couple of times. I'm sure you've done it a couple of times. Yeah. Uh, so you want that experience for the end consumer to be a positive one. So we get away from that, you know, only using a real estate agent, only 14% of people use a real estate agents more than once. Yeah. Right. So we've got to change that. And if you have the right tools and the right processes in place, you should be able to use that person or get that person over and over again, right. As they transact typical, someone's going to transact seven times over their lifetime. Sure. So how many of those can you, take advantage of. Yeah. I mean, if you get one more, that's a big deal. Absolutely. Right. right? Hey, yeah. I really appreciate you taking the time to visit with us. I looks like they're starting to wrap up over here and I don't, I don't know if those guys at Lofty yeah, are going to be able to do here. it without left, you left here. Okay. Hey, thanks so much, Stuart. Yeah, I appreciate thank you so much. James. Okay.